Hello everybody, this is Brian Garvin. Um, on the first video that I created for you guys, I didn't really talk about myself at all, so I wanted to at least give you a little information about myself um, so you can maybe do some due diligence or just check me out online. Um, when I was 18 years old, I went in the Marine Corps and graduated in about May of um, 1988. I went into a unit called First Anglico Air Naval Gunfire Liaison Company and did my whole entire tour there. I went to Thailand and um, South Korea. And then when I got out, I was unemployed for six years because on my 20th combat jump, I injured my lower back. I got a pinched nerve between my L5 and sciatica. So um, didn't do much during that six years. But in 1998, the internet came and I was there and I got involved in something called affiliate programs and affiliate marketing. In my first two years on the internet, my income was marginal, like 10 grand the first year in 19, uh, excuse me, 1989. No, I'm sorry, 1999 in the year 2000, it was like 12 grand. But in two, tw 2001 to 2007, it was a lot more. It was around, t average about 20 grand a month during that time. In, in one month it was 36 grand. Um, and then that party ended because a lot of competition moved in. I had a great mailing list and a good following, but a lot of people learned how to distract them. So I, I wasn't making as much and slowly, actually not slowly, but within a year, my income dwindled to pretty much nothing. Um, and then I realized I had to do something else in order to achieve my lifetime uh, income goals. Um, so I'm going to talk about in this video, I'm going to talk about the four different times I had a chance to become a millionaire and failed. Um, and I would say all four times it was my fault to an extent. The first time is, like I said, you know, a little earlier from t 2001 to 2007, I, uh, I made about $1.2 million. And I was a victim to every scam, hustle, um, trying to keep up with the Joneses. I was the all-American sucker. I bought a house for about 350 grand. Um, I, at the time, it sounded like a great deal. And... Um, about a $30,000 Ford Explorer and um, you know basically everything Fiat related I, I bought it because I wanted to keep up with the Joneses I was 35 at the time I was kind of naive well, actually like 33 at the time and I was pretty naive and long story short in two and a half years when my income dried up I was forced to sell the home and I kept the car but you know it had a lot of wear and tear on it and I ended up selling it for three grand um, but anyway, let me go over the four mistakes. I mean, that was the first one. I made it and I lost it. I got hustled, scammed. I loaned money to friends and everything you can think of. And it just dried up pretty fast. Um, the second time I had a chance to become a millionaire and I failed was my business partner, Jeff West, uh, called me on a company called Neo in June, 2017. They offered the coin at 17 cents, the Neo coin that, you know, you know, the one, you know, that's Chinese run. And um, I, you know, I said, you know, I'm too cool for crypto. Crypto's a scam. I'm going to save my fiat. You know, it's the same old song and dance anyone would tell you that's new to crypto and just doesn't understand the space. So a couple years later, it turned into $196 per coin, which was over 1,000x. Had I have done that, I would have been pretty wealthy. So within at least a million dollars or more. Um, and if I had to sock five grand into it, I'd have about five million. Um, once again, it was an opportunity lost because I wasn't, I, I just wasn't up on my game. Um, the third time I had a chance to become a millionaire and I failed was, um, well, this wasn't really a millionaire. This was just a chance for me to stack a hundred grand or so. Um, a, a, we work with a person that gives us stock picks, but, but he's, he's like the, at least I feel he's one of the best in the world. And he does deep research into companies and he told me to get into Coinbase for $15 per share. I gaffed him off. It was I just didn't want to do it. Um, and next thing you know, you know, a few years down the road after he made that pick, it was 168 a share, and I finally bought in. Right now, I think it's that's two months later, about 240 a share. So even though I was late, I was still early in the in, in the sen in, sort of in a sense. But had I have taken that pick back then, I would have made a whole lot more money. Um, so that's the third time I screwed up. Um, and that would have made me a million, but it made me a lot more comfortable. <laughs> Uh, so the fourth uh, time I screwed up, and uh, you know, as far as becoming a millionaire quicker, um, was around early 2018. I worked for the Camp Pendleton Naval Hospital. That's the other uh, civil service that I did in my life. Um, I worked there from 2014 to 2020, and in 2018, while I was working there, 
I purchased a Bitcoin for $3,600. I did it with my extra pay that was coming in. You know how you DCA? I was taking about six, seven hundred a month of my extra money and putting it in Bitcoin for three or four months until I had that $3,600 and I had a full Bitcoin. Um, the mistake I made wasn't buying the Bitcoin. That was the best thing I did in my life. One of the best things. And had I have, you know, purchased three to five, I would have been in a crazier, better position. And I thought about it too, but it, you know, altcoins were more important and you know the story you know I, I just i just made some beginner crypto mistakes um so those are the four chances that i have and one of the key takeaways on this that i want you to understand is that when you're in the market and you're in it for the long term you have all kinds of mistakes to screw up and still come back i don't care how many mistakes you made i don't care if if you're only have 15 dollars in your pocket right now it doesn't matter you can start dcaing and get on a plan and, and, and you know two or three years down the road you'll have a serious stack so it doesn't matter even if you're late to Bitcoin and it's a 250 grand I mean if you start DCing into Bitcoin eventually it'll be two or three million dollars because that's what I strongly believe and all the people that I follow on the internet strongly believe that as well and if you go to my um, beginning crypto class it's gonna tell you all this stuff you're gonna be up on your game and you'll have enough knowledge to make your first investment into cryptocurrency. And that's what I want to see for you. I, I want as many beginning people to win as possible. I'm not trying to make the millionaire $15 million, although that I, I certainly can if you go through my course and, and, you want to, and, and you have that much and you want to do it. But most of the people I'm working with are going to be able to barely maybe do three to 500 a month. But that's fine. That, you could develop a really large stack in three to five years if you do that. So that's the end of this video. Um, click the link below to check out my uh, beginner crypto class and, and, and I'd love to work with you. You can send me an email. It's all on the website. Everything you need to know is on the website. You can send me an email or, or schedule a consultation if you really need help, extra help. I'm open to help you with that as well. All right, have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.